This breathing technique can benefit you if you are suffering from anxiety, from a lot of stress, and basically if you have some nervous system dysregulation. So what we are going to do is that we are going to do several repetitions, then you will do the breath retention, and afterwards you are going to continue with few more rounds. The number of the repetition and the number of the rounds really depends on whether you are beginner or intermediate, so you find more recommendation in the brochure that is provided with this program. So what you basically do is that you are going to be lying on your back, as I will demonstrate in a bit, um, and you are going to start breathing. Inhalation is five seconds, and exhalation is five seconds as well. You will breathe in your belly, chest, and up. What is very essential for you is to find a comfortable lying position. Make sure that your head is not going to be too high or also not too much um, bent or you are not going to feel any tension in your neck, neither in your shoulders. If you usually suffer from the lower back pain, then I recommend you to place um, eventually some pillows underneath your knees because it can help you actually to eliminate the tension. This technique can be used uh, on a daily basis, but you can also use it, for example, at work when you are feeling stressed. Um, and you can just reduce the amount of the repetition if this is too much, what is recommended in the brochure, brochure and it can be used multiple times during the day. So right now I'm going to lie down on the back. I do not have the too high pillow. My legs are going to be slightly higher so that I feel comfortably. Hands are on the side of the body. And now I'm slowly going to breathe in here, my belly, chest and out. So five seconds inhalation and five seconds exhalation. As you could have seen, these were the first three repetitions. Really depending on whether you are beginner or intermediate, you are doing, going to do certain number of repetition. For example, the beginners, we would recommend them to do 20 times deep inhale and exhale. Inhalation, five seconds. Exhalation, five seconds. After you finish your first round of 20 repetitions, then you are going to do the breath retention. We recommend to do approximately one minute. If you don't have the timer, that's completely all right. You can just be counting it. So you do 20 breaths. And then after the last breath, after the 20th or 30th, depending on your level, you are going to do the last inhale. Exhale 70% of the air. And then you are going to hold for one minute after exhalation. So this is the specific of this method that you do not do the breath retention after inhalation, but after exhalation. So 20 breaths, inhale, exhale, hold. And you are going to be holding for approximately one minute, which you can just count in your mind. Afterwards, you um, you let go of the rest of the air and you continue with the second round and third round, eventually depending on your level also with the fourth and fifth round. So as I mentioned, the number of the repetitions and the number of the rounds that we recommend you is actually in your brochure. This exercise is very safe and should be, shouldn't be triggering anyone, which means that you can actually use it multiple times during the day. If you, for example, are at work and you cannot allow yourself to do uh, five times 30 repetitions, that's completely all right, and just reduce it, but use it wisely as much as you need. Um, I hope the, all the instructions were clear. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach to us so that you get actually uh, the exact um, instructions how to basically use the exercise, and I hope it will really help you with regulating your nervous system, with calming down the stress and anxiety. The important thing is that nothing happens overnight, so it's going to take some certain time until you basically um, repattern your nervous system and until you basically will be able more to get into the relaxing state. Also during the day when you have certain situations that are usually triggering us and our stress and anxiety is com coming up. Day by day, uh, practicing this exercise uh, can actually help you 
to be able to respond to the normally stressful situations with more ease and lightness, which is actually uh, the point of the exercise as well. So I wish you a beautiful day and I hope you will enjoy it. Bye-bye.